And then he told me Minecraft was just a game about killing a dragon. <laughs> Guys, this has been great and all, but I got to go. I got to figure out how to process ores using the create mod. I'll see y'all later. Man, them guys are weird. I asked them why they always walk with their arms like that. You know what they told me? They like to glue their thumbs to their nipples so they can pretend that they're T-Rexes. Like a boss. Welcome to episode four of Surviving with Create and More. <laughs> this is going to be a quick video on how to set up ore processing using the Create mod. In the past, I've set up these areas and didn't do any type of explanation on them. And I've gotten a lot of comments on videos about how to set it up. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can put raw ores in here. They'll go through here, get crushed. Underneath here, there's lava. It's going to smelt the ores and turn them into ingots. But the first thing we got to do is make crushing wheels. In order to make crushing wheels, you need a decent supply of rotational force to power mechanical crafters. So in the last video, we set up these steam boilers. If you're unfamiliar with them, go check out that video. It's a pretty simple process. But let's get into making these crushing wheels. In order to craft them, you need 21 mechanical crafters. The mechanical crafter recipe is pretty simple. So let's show how you set these up. We need a little cog to power the crafters. We're gonna put three of them down just like that. And we're gonna build this up five high for the center column. Just like so. Then we're gonna take three on each side and pop them on there. Now, this would work, but it wouldn't output what it's going to make in the crafters. So we need to take the create wrench, right click on here, and then see how the arrow spins. We're just going to spin the bottom to output over there. Take andesite alloy, fill in this outside ring, just like that. Some planks in a diamond pattern and any type of stone in the center. And boom, you get your crushing wheels. All right, we got the crushing wheels. Now let me try my best to have this make sense on how this all works. I have two lines coming in to power all this stuff that we're going to do here. One is the high speed direct line from the steam boiler. The other one, I'm changing the speed of the rotation of the shaft using a rotational speed controller. And I slowed it down. So this slower line is going to power fans and also the belt that the oars are going to travel on. The high speed line is powering the crushing wheels right here so these you want spinning in the direction in towards each other the direction that the oars the raw oars are going to travel from so we're going to put raw ore in here rides along a belt gets crushed and then it's going to get smelted turned into ingots and get placed into that backpack in the end so for the slow speed line if i put a fan right here notice how the particle effect is going up that's the direction that we want these fans to blow so i'm going to take encased chain drives and that's going to take the rotation that this is producing and duplicate it the same direction across this whole area we're going to put down 10 of them because we're using 10 encased fans as well we're going to put fans right on top of the encased chain drives and boom it's blowing up now we need to take lava and fill the area on top of the fans. Notice how the particle effect changes to red. Just like that. Now, if we take shafts and a belt, we can put a shaft here, and then I have another shaft going right here that's gonna spin the belt coming off of that vertical gearbox. And then our last shaft is gonna go there. We're gonna take a belt and run it all the way across that belt spinning the correct direction and it's now safe to walk on here now one important thing to note is whatever you're going to output your cooked ingots into i'm using a diamond backpack because it holds a lot more ingots but you can use a chest here but the important thing to note is right next to whatever you're outputting that's where you want to have the placement 
of your last fan with the lava on there because we're going to import it using a brass funnel. We're going to put that on there. And then if I take this as an attribute filter, you right click to open it up. We're going to add an ingot in here as a reference item. Click that. We want this tagged forge ingots. Allow any. Hit the plus mark. It adds an attribute to there and then hit the check mark. Pop that in there. So what this filter will do is it'll stop items that are on this belt that haven't been processed and turned into ingots yet from entering your storage, whatever you're going to use here. Now, another thing that you get when you process ores this way is you get smarter. You get these things, nuggets of experience, and we're going to use them to up our levels, but we want to pull them right after we cross the ores. So shift, right click. That's going to set that to pull. This is a locked container so it always knows only that item can go in there and the last thing we got to do is put our crushing wheels on here and like i said earlier these are spinning a little too fast to notice it on the video but they're spinning in towards each other so now if we take last funnel that we need we're going to pull from this chest and then let's grab some raw ingots so you can see how this thing works we take the raw ingot and pop it in here it goes through the crushing wheels it's turned into crushed whatever it's called the nugget goes in there this sits on this belt until it smelts and turns in to an ingot and we have great success the other thing that i did is i added these chutes and a belt line which let me take you upstairs so i can show you what that's for if i'm out and about and I don't feel like going down there and putting them in the chest down there. I could take raw ingots up here, pop them into this chest, and they run along and drop down through a chute onto this belt line, runs over, drops into this chute, and then gets sent into here to be processed and turned into ingots. And I'm also adding another line here with a portable storage interface. So later on in the future, I could put a dummy waiter right here. So if I'm in the mines mining, I could put the stuff on the dummy waiter, send it up top, boom, and it'll get processed. Folks, that is the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun and peace.